ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. We are back with Haywood Farm Cider Company for this particular review. I've already done a couple of uh, their ciders. I did their apple and elderflower and their original, so obviously check them out after this one. Uh, but today I am doing a bottle of their medium cider, which is, well, light and refreshing, as it says on the front there. Obviously, I'll be the judge of that. But yeah, Haywood Farm Ciders, um, they've, been, they've been pretty good, to be fair. Their original was really nice. Uh, Apple and Elderflower was also a good example of it as well. So yeah, kind of looking forward to seeing uh, what this one brings to the table. Uh, so as you can see, it comes in Farmington Mill bottles and this one is a rather nice 5% uh, ABV. So yeah, this is hand-picked and pressed Cornish craft cider from St. Marbin, apparently. St. Marbin in Bodmin, Cornwall. So if you guys want to um, check them out, that's where they're based. So on the back it says, Haywood Sparkling combines our Katie apples with early cider varieties, fermented slowly to produce a light, refreshing medium cider. All our apples are grown, pressed and fermented at Haywood Farm in Cornwall, home to the Bray family since 1919. Visitors can enjoy the beautiful surroundings at one of our many tours and events throughout the year. To find out more, please visit us at haywoodfarmcider.co.uk. I'll pop a link down below as well. So there we are, yes, yeah, served chilled, Suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and celiacs, and it's gluten-free, and all the all the stuff, as a cider should be. Well, sounds quite nice. It's a nice hot day, so this is going to go down a treat. So let's get this top open and just see what I can smell already. Wow, okay. Oh, there, that's, uh, that's smelling nice. Caramel. Caramel and toffee, I'm getting off that. Looks like there's a little bit of sediment in there, so I'm going to try and... Get that in as well. Give that a little swirl on the bottom there. Not too much. Doesn't look like there's too much sediment, but there we are. Yeah, wow, that is a nice aroma. Okay. So yeah, colour-wise, yep, yeah, it does say it's slightly sparkling and yeah, really nice. A little bit of um little bit of haze to it, not too much, but um yeah, a little bit of um yeah, a little bit of haze there. But yeah, colour-wise, really nice. It's uh I would say that's a light golden colour. Yeah, well, dark, dark gold light amber, actually, maybe, just uh, judging from that. So, yeah, looks really nice. Very, uh, very lightly sparkling, dirty glass as well, apologies. So, yeah, the smell is uh, really nice. Oh, yeah, that is, um, I kind of want to say, I'm getting like a touch of, touch of port off that, actually. A port, yeah, port influence. It doesn't say it's been um, aged in any barrel, so I don't think it is. I think it's just the, um... The apple varieties that have been used. So yeah, port, caramel toffee, mainly sweet smelling. Takes you a little bit of uh, brown sugar on the back end there as well. Yeah, that's smelling really nice, really refreshing and really moorish. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers everyone. Yeah, let's see uh, if this one is one to look out for. Haywood Farm Medium. Cheers. Smoky. Quite smoky, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh yeah, really big tannic presence on the um on the back end there. Wow. Really nice tannic here. Leathery, woody esters all on the back end there. But yeah, definitely getting a hint of uh, smokiness as well, just on the initial taste. Nice balance between uh, dryness and sweetness, getting that medium uh, medium quality down to a tea there. Uh, but yeah, sweet initially, not too much acidity at all. Big old, uh, big old tannic here, as I've already said. And those aromas are also in the taste as well. You're getting those lovely caramel, toffee, brown, sugary sort of uh, flavours initially. And then it leads into those woody, oaky, smoky sort of after, after finishes and everything. There's a hint of fruitiness there. I want to say, um, maybe it's a red grape. Maybe that's like the port influence I was smelling on the nose as well. Definitely getting a touch of like red grape there, just on the back end. Nice fruitiness as well. Even um, a subtle citrus, like a, like an orange or, um, or an orange or a clementine or something like that. Uh, just edging the taste buds there. But yeah, that's is, this really nice. It's making, you, making my taste buds tingle. Lovely um, medium body as well. It's um, quite easy to drink, nice and refreshing. 
And um, yeah, it's just making me go in for another sip and another sip. So yeah, really nice. Let's get a final taste for our final verdict. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. That is really nice. Just a really easy going, nice drinking, refreshing, but really Moorish and flavoursome cider. Really, really good stuff. Um, yeah, perfect for a, a hot day like today. It's uh, going down an absolute treat. Some lovely flavours there, but none of them are too overpowering. They're all nicely balanced as well. Uh, and yeah, I definitely recommend this. Um, it does actually say I paid £3.25 for this bottle, which to be fair, with these sorts of ciders, it's the sort of average. I mean, I would happily pay that again for this cider, that's for sure. So with that said, Haywood Farms Medium Cider is going to get a nice old eight out of 10 from me. Really well made and well, I don't know how uh, many more of this uh, ciders they do. I say that the original apple and elderflower I've done I'm assuming because they've got a medium, they must have a sweet and a dry variety as well, but I'm not sure. i say I'll pop a link down to their website down below so you can go and check these guys out. But for now, that's another episode of The Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I'll be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. So, what are you doing? Hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers!